welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on dewy glowy skin for people with oily skin. Now I know that kind of sounds weird because all of us being oily we all or everyone that has oily skin normally wants to be matte but sometimes especially with like the new trends and the warmer weather coming I feel like most of us even though we are oily we want some glowiness to the skin and that is what I did today where it's focused all on the skin I did not show how to do my eyebrows or my eye makeup or anything like that it was mainly focused on the skin and this is what works for me with oily skin to keep it looking glowy and healthy and throughout the day it's not gonna like when your oils start coming through it's not gonna look like you're an oily greasy mess it's literally going to look like just glowy skin and I know I'm talking a lot with my hands and I'm sorry but that's who I am I always talk with my hands no matter what and yeah, so I went ahead and I showed you guys and I took you along the steps that I do to go ahead and give me that glowy skin without looking oily. So if you guys are interested in getting, well it's what I'm wearing right now on my face. If you guys are interested in getting this glowy look, then definitely, look, then definitely keep on watching. So as usual, we're going to go ahead and start off with priming our face. And the first primer that we're going to be using is the Murad Oil Control Mattifier SPF 15. And this is going to go ahead and serve the purpose of keeping your face matte since we are going to be using an illuminating um, foundation. We really don't want our oils to seep through and kind of defeat that purpose and make our face look greasy instead of glowy. So that is what I'm doing here plus it has the SPF in it. And then to go ahead and minimize the pores, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. And this is going to be the smoothing one. And I'm just going to go ahead and tap that to the center of my face. Now I did do my eyebrows off camera and those will be linked down below. But moving on to foundation, I am going to go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. And I am in the color 209 Caramel Beige. Now this foundation I feel is absolutely perfect for people with oily skin because it makes your skin look glowy and it also helps kind of control your oils in a way so it doesn't make you look over greasy. I'll of course show you guys the steps that I do, um, hence the purpose of the video. But I absolutely love this foundation. I feel like I can make it work for my oily skin and it makes my face look glowy as well without it being oily. But I'm going to go ahead and paint it on as usual using the Real Techniques Pointed Foundation Brush. And then to go ahead and blend it out, I'm going to use the e.l.f. I believe it's the ultimate buffing brush to go ahead and just make everything look flawless. All this. Then to highlight and conceal, again, I'm going to go in with two different products. The first one being the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the color light. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that to all of my usual areas, meaning underneath my eyes. Even I'm, gonna, I'm also going to apply this to my eyelids and I'm going to apply it to the center of my face, my cupid's bow, and my chin. And then, of course, on top of that, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer in the color medium. Then going back in with the foundation brush that I used to go ahead and blend it out. I'm going to go back in and blend out the concealer just to go ahead and make everything look seamless and flawless. Next we're going to go ahead and bake that concealer and this is my secret weapon. This Benai Banana Powder, you guys, it is what is going to keep the center of your face looking matte but leaving the rest of your face looking oily. This is what I love to do whenever I want my face to look glowy and I use a glowy foundation. This is going to help keep you matte but give you that glow. So I'm going to go ahead and put this all over where I put that concealer and I'm going to go ahead and let that bake while I go ahead and I do my eye makeup off camera. And again, everything that I use for my eye makeup will be linked down below if you guys are interested. So now that we let the powder bake for a little bit, I'm going to go back in and dust all that off. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation and the Color Rich Foundation. I mean powder and rich tan. And I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of my face just to go ahead and lock everything in and make sure that nothing moves throughout the day. And I'm just going to be using my Sigma Large Powder Brush to go ahead and do so. This also adds a little bit more coverage. 
Then for blush, I'm going to be using the MAC Blush in Gingerly, and I'm going to apply that to my cheeks with my Sigma Angled Kabuki brush. And then of course we can't forget to go ahead and blend that out and I'm going to be using my powder brush that I used to originally set my face. So we can't have glowy skin without an amazing highlighter and I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the color Precious Petals and I'm going to be applying that to my cheekbones, my nose, my cupid's bow and I'm even going to apply a little bit of this on my eyebrows to go ahead and tie everything together and I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 brush. Now this highlighter is absolutely amazing and so beautiful for only $5.99 I really recommend you guys go out there and get it. Now I know it's hard to get it because this was literally the last one at my Walmart but if you can get your hands on it do it because I have not stopped using it since I first got it. Now the last step is going to go ahead and be setting our face and I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Fix Powder now. Powder. I mean setting spray. Oh my god I'm sorry you guys. But this is just going to go ahead and add some moisture back to your skin and it's also going to go ahead and take that excess powder away from your face. Hence it's going to give your face that nice healthy glowy appearance. <laughs> That is how I make my skin glowy without making it over oily because obviously I mentioned to you guys in the beginning that I do have oily skin and not to mention most of these products were affordable. I do mention everything in the description box down below if you guys are interested in any of the products that I use. Also, I do include what I'm wearing on my eyes, eyebrows, and lips because I did not show you guys that step because, as I mentioned, I really did want to focus on the skin. So, with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys have not subscribed yet, and I will go ahead and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!